How's it going, everyone? Happy Halloween, and welcome to Disc Functional Commentary. Every year throughout the month of October, I love watching horror films and other Halloween-related programming just about every night leading up to October 31st. I started off the month this year talking about the Universal Classic Monsters with the complete 30-film Blu-ray collection, and I thought it was only fitting that I would end the month talking about Hammer. Hammer is a British film production company, and they're probably best known for their reimaginings of the classic monster franchises. Dracula, Frankenstein, The Mummy. They took these iconic monsters and they updated them for a new generation. Now, unlike Universal Classic Monsters that has a complete collection of all their films, Hammer is a bit difficult to collect for. But I figured that I would go through some of the Hammer films that I have, some of the collections I have, and just talk about them a little bit. I'm going to start off with one of the best, and that is Dracula. This was retitled as Horror of Dracula in the United States, but in the UK it was just called Dracula, and it's the first Dracula film to star Christopher Lee. What I'm holding in my hand is a UK Blu-ray release, but this was very recently released as Horror of Dracula by Warner Archives. However, this UK release is still of interest for a couple of reasons. This includes two versions of the film. The first is the 2007 British Film Institute restoration. Now, there apparently is some controversy regarding this particular version because of the color grading that was applied to the restoration. And I don't know why, because I think it looks fantastic. There's actually a special feature here where the colorist talks about the decisions he made when he was coloring this film. He basically said that he wanted to remain authentic to the film print that he was provided rather than making his own interpretations of what he felt the color should be. So he basically just took what he saw and then he wanted to transfer that to the restoration. Like I said, I think it looks terrific, but I read somewhere there was some controversy regarding this. So whatever. The second version is the 2012 Hammer restoration. And what that is, is it took, takes the long lost footage and puts it back into the film. When this film was made, there were some scenes that were deemed too graphic or too risque, too violent. And so they were cut. And for the longest time, it seemed that that footage was lost. And some people questioned whether or not it existed in the first place. But then there was talk about this Japanese version of the film that maybe included this footage. And it became kind of a rumor, a myth, if you will. And what this release does is it takes that footage, they found the footage, and it puts it back into the film. There's, there's actually a really cool special feature where they talk about hunting down the lost footage, how they found it. And then when they did find it, it was old and severely damaged in this painstaking process they went to of restoring the film and then matching it to the BFI's restoration from 2007 and then putting it back in. So fascinating, so cool. And as far as I understand, the Warner Archive release that just came out does not use the BFI's restoration, nor does it include the lost footage. So this is well worth picking up for those reasons alone. It's releases like this that make it worth having some way of playing back region lock content, because unfortunately, this is a region B locked disc. But if you are a fan of Dracula, of Hammer, of Christopher Lee, you owe it to yourself to import a copy of this and then find some way of playing it back, whether that be a standalone player or a piece of software, whatever. I cannot recommend this release highly enough. Dracula, from it's a UK release that includes the 2007 BFI restoration, plus the 2012 Hammer restoration with the lost footage. Fantastic. Definitely, definitely worth picking up. Can't recommend it highly enough. Next up, we have Dracula, Prince of Darkness. This is the second Dracula film with Christopher Lee. I have here another UK Blu-ray release, but this has very recently been put out by Scream Factory in the US, so that makes this particular version kind of irrelevant. However, at the time that I bought it, it just wasn't available on Blu-ray. I think there might have been a US Blu-ray release at some point, but it was kind of hard to find and pretty expensive, so I just went with this one. 
But like I said, Scream Factory has put this one out pretty recently. And that brings me to Scream Factory because apparently Scream Factory has obtained the distribution rights to several Hammer Horror films. And they've been putting them out fairly regularly over the past several months. So definitely keep your eyes on Scream Factory for your Hammer fix. They just kind of keep on coming with them. Next up, we have The Quatermass Experiment. I love this movie. This is an early Hammer Horror film. And uh, this is actually an Australian Blu-ray release, but you can find The Quatermass Experiment in the U.S. pretty easily. I believe that Warner Archives is the distributor for that one. The only reason I bought this one is that it had a couple of cool special features. Uh, it has the full versions of Quatermass 2 and X the Unknown. And at the time that I bought this, neither of those films were available on Blu-ray. Quatermass 2 has recently become available by, you guessed it, Scream Factory. Uh, X the Unknown, I don't think that one's available. However, the version that is included on this disc, the audio for it, is actually kind of bad. So I wouldn't recommend picking up for that reason alone. However, Quatermass Experiment and Quatermass 2 both look good on this disc. However, it is region B locked. So may as well just get the U.S. releases of those two since those are both available now, uh, thanks to Scream Factory. Next up, we have a handful of double features from Mill Creek. If you want to get some Hammer movies on the cheap, these are very inexpensive. Uh, the first one we have here is Maniac and Die, Die, My Darling. We have Never Take Candy from a Stranger and Scream of Fear. We have The Two Faces of Dr. Jekyll and the Gorgon. And The Revenge of Frankenstein and The Curse of the Mummy's Tomb. So, very cool. Most of these you can get for under $10. So, like I said, if you're just looking to get some Hammer movies on the budget, those are great options. I will mention at this point that Powerhouse Film Indicator has some pretty cool collections of Hammer films. I do not have those, but if the Powerhouse Indicator box sets that I do have are any indication, I think I can safely recommend those collections. Next up, we have a couple other multi-movie collections. I have here an eight Hammer horror film collection. Uh, this one includes Brides of Dracula, Curse of the Werewolf, Night Creatures, The Phantom of the Opera, Paranoiac, The Kiss of the Vampire, Nightmare and the Evil of Frankenstein. So there you go. Eight Hammer for horror films. I, I believe I picked this one up for like 15 bucks too. So pretty good deal for eight movies. And uh, next up we have the Horror Classics Volume 1. This has four Hammer horror films. And I believe this was the only one. I don't think they ever did a volume two. Maybe it just didn't sell very well. Uh, but this has four Hammer horror films. The Mummy. Taste the Blood of Dracula. Dracula has risen from his grave, and Frankenstein must be destroyed. So very, very cool. Another very cool collection of Hammer Horror films. And last, but certainly not least, we have this. This is the 21-disc Hammer Collection from the UK. This is actually a DVD set. This is not Blu-ray. But this is one of those collections that no matter how many of these movies I upgrade to Blu-ray, I will never get rid of this because I absolutely love this collection. Comes in a very cool box. Uh, the top kind of flips open, then the front kind of goes down like that. So, And then each of the discs are in these books that are kind of stacked on top of one another there. You see that they form a cross when they're all on top of one another. It also has these art cards included, which are very cool. There you go. A couple more here. The last one. And then you have a booklet, which basically just gives you all of the movies that are in this collection. And the movies that are included here, I'll just go through them 
very quickly what's included in this collection. You have She, The Nanny, Dracula, Prince of Darkness, The Plague of the Zombies, Rasputin, The Mad Monk, The Reptile, The Witches, One Million Years B.C., The Viking Queen, Frankenstein Created Woman, Quatermass in the Pit, The Vengeance of She, The Devil Rides Out, Prehistoric Women, Scars of Dracula, The Horror of Frankenstein, Blood from the Mummy's Tomb, Straight on Till Morning, Fear in the Night, Demons of the Mind, and The Devil, To the Devil, A Daughter. So, very, very cool collection. I'll just show you one of the, the books, the way they're laid out. So it comes in these books like this, and then each of the discs are in its own tray. Very cool. I love, I absolutely love this collection. Like I said, doesn't matter how many of these I upgrade to Blu-ray, I will never get rid of this. These are all Region 2 discs. I, I, I should probably say that. This is a UK release, and these are Region 2 DVDs. But I still love this collection. I believe that this was re-released in a repackaged design. It took out some of the uh, cooler aspects of the packaging. But the discs themselves, to my understanding, are exactly the same. So, as you can see, <laughs> collecting for Hammer is kind of all over the place. They, it's because of the distribution rights. Everybody has a piece of it. And so it's not an easy studio to collect for. But the quality of the films is there. And in my opinion, it is absolutely well worth the effort. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Be safe and happy Halloween.